check it out. Is that okay? Can I go, please? All right, who wants to share a little bit about their planet? I want to hear about some planets. Who wants to share their planet? All right, we have a, a hand over there for the first time. Yes, yes, we want to know about your planet. Oh, yeah, you got to share now. <laughs> Come on, just one thing about your planet. Um, it's not going to make sense. I don't care, say it. Functional beauty. Functional beauty. Okay, it means something to you, so that's important. <laughs> functional beauty. Anybody else? Tell us about your planet. Oh, we got a hand over there. What's your name? Ruma? Irma. Irma. Yeah, my planet is a place where there are no more wars. No more wars, love. It's eternal peace and love where lions lie down with lambs, and it's a green planet. Where always. lions what? Lie down with lambs. Okay, so everybody loves each other, and it's green. And it's a green planet. Give her a hand. Good job. <laughs> George, tell us about your, your planet. Uh, my planet is... Uh, Freedom, love, and, and, and abundance. Say it again for the... Uh, my planet uh, is, is freedom. Everybody's free, um, not controlled. A lot of love and, and abundance for all. For so, the entire so is it planet. like that Star Trek planet where they go there and they don't understand lying or, 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 or hate? They're like, what, what is this emotion? What is it? They don't understand anger. You know, for those of you who are not Star Trek fans from the late 60s, that, that show was real, a bit of a nerd here, but that show had so many advanced concepts. I mean, look, just look at the, the, the transponder. We're, we, we have those now. They're yeah. called cell phones. Back then, that was freaky, right? Okay, so now what I want you to do, and I'm going to do it with, with George. We're not done with you, George. We're creating a life purpose statement with you. I want you to, so I'm going to do it with George right now. I'm going to use green as the color. So what I want you to do is look at each of your statements individually, and I want you to put a number next to them. Read it to yourself and, and see how much resonance does it have. Ten means it's like, oh, my God, this is who I'm, I am. One means not at all. Really, I hate it. It doesn't resonate. Seven or eight, it's good, but ten is better. So see if you can find a differentiation between some of the ones that you get. So, George, speak the truth, be free. What comes up? One to ten, what's the number for you? Uh, speak the truth, be Six. Six. Got it. Uh, tell it like it is. Straight. Seven. Seven. Wake people up from control who's running the ship. Seven. Seven. Got it. Uh, being a leader. I knew that since you were at grade nine, George. Five. Five. Take control of your life. Eight. Eight. Freedom, love, and abundance. Let's do each one. Freedom. Freedom, uh, that's probably a 9 or a 10. Nine, 10. Let's give it a 10. Love? Uh, 9. 9. Uh, abundance? 9. 9. All right. George was awesome because what usually happens with a lot of my clients, they have 10s everywhere. Hopefully, you don't have 10s everywhere. Take a second. See if you can come up with something. Okay. So what we're going to do now is the ones that are 9s or 10s for you, circle them. Circle them. Those are, those are like, I, I'm not saying we can't have all of these in our life purpose, but the tens are really, really strong, and they definitely have to be there. Okay? That emotion has to be there. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Technical difficulty. Equipment malfunction, as long as it's not a wardrobe malfunction, right? Is that better? Yeah. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> We're never lending you the board again. OK, so everyone by now should have ranked all of their statements. Sorry, all of their um, words. Okay, now what I want you to do is look over your list, put boxes around the words that there's a repetition between. So in George's, we definitely have repetition with um, being a, uh, taking control of your life and waking people up. In George's, showed up twice. Did you guys see the, the theme in George's, which was wake people up, or, or he wants to shock people or awaken them. So I really think that the word awaken for George has some significance. Awaken others, right, George? 
Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Uh, take control of your life. So for him, it's about living a great life, something along those lines, right? Right, George? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, a leader. Definitely he's a leader because he's been a leader since, since grade nine. His best friend said so, <laughs> right? And freedom, love, and abundance are important to them. Because look, he said be free in the first one. He said freedom in the last one. So find connections. Find words that are the same in all four or a couple of them. Because that means, hey, this is strong. We've got a current there. Go back and look at your values and see if you can get some other words that are important out of those too. Right? Does that make sense? Again, that's why I did the value statement with you is to kind of give you a backup. If this didn't work for you, you've got a backup there. See? There is method to my madness here. Okay, so now we're going to create George's life purpose statement. George, you are amazing. Can we give a hand to this guy? Isn't he awesome? Thank you. George is one of my, my coaching clients, and I've got to say, this man is such a joy to coach. He's just, he's kind of excited. Like, I tell him to go do something, and he's like, yes, I'm going to go do it in my life. And he comes back and reports the week after. He's like, it worked. I did this. And I get to celebrate with him. And it's just, it's, anyway, it's really cool. Sorry, I, I, sorry, I shouldn't have shared all that. Just, I love George, but anyway. Okay, cool. So remember how the life purpose statement works, right? It, we're, I've written them out for you guys. So you ha I, I've given you like five or six sections where it says, I am the blank that does blank to other people, right? You guys have it all written out. I'm going to have to go old school here. So I am the blank that does blank, 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 blank to other people. Right? What's so funny? OK. So all right. So if you know a metaphor already that you think you represent, mine was the lion. I didn't come to that right away. The lighthouse or whatever. If there's a four, oh yeah. Sorry. Let me just back up the bus here a little bit. So your metaphors can be forces, should be forces of nature, sun, wind, river, ocean, volcano, tsunami, earthquake. Forces of nature are powerful. So you want that to evoke a real strong, right? Like, I'm not going to say, well, I'm the church mouse that impacts three people. <laughs> That's my life purpose. I don't want to disturb too many people at the movie theater. That's my life purpose, right? You see what I mean? We're going big. It's corny. It's flowery. It's just for you. So go big, don't go home yet, all right? So forces of nature, right? Mine happened to be a lion, but the next one here is animals. Again, you can be a turtle. I've got a client who's a turtle, but the way he sees the turtle, he's got the big turtle with the elephants holding the world. So that's, that's a for him, the turtle works for him. But most people like lions, eagles, elephants, stallions, animals that have maybe a black panther, maybe it's a beautiful swan. I don't know what it is, could be an animal. It could be a man-made object, could be a lighthouse, could be a blender, could be an alarm clock, could be a sports car. Okay? Find a metaphor you think and play around with it. Which one is more resonant? Okay? So I am the powerful, radiant blank that does blank. So George, do you have a metaphor that came up for you when I did any of those? Uh, beacon is the only thing that kind of... So, you know, okay, let's... Thunder, beacon, something. Okay. So we could call it a thunderous beacon for now. Doesn't have to make sense yet. And the impact he wants to have on people, he wants to awaken people. That awakens, OK? OK. I want to incorporate leader into this, OK? So does thunderous beacon to you mean leader or no? Or I am the thunderous leader that awakens. OK. Thunderous leader that awakens people to live a great life. How about, I see a gentleness about you, or, or yes, you're thunderous, but you're also loving. Could it be a thunderously loving leader? Could it be a thunderously generous leader? Yeah, loving probably is closer, Okay. So I'm trying to think of a loving thunder here, and I'm having trouble with it. But um, can anybody help, George? Any words coming up for you guys for George? I know you're trying to do your own, but. Compassionate? Compassionate, thunderous leader. <laughs> What's, what is it about thunderous that's exciting? I, I'm just trying to dig around and see what, what, what else is under there. Thunderous. Yes. What about gentle and powerful? Gentle and powerful? 
But he wants to be thunderous. Let, th gentle and powerful doesn't have the metaphor to it. The thunder does. Yes, freedom has to be here. Yeah, freedom definitely has to be there for sure. Okay, I am the thunderous leader that awakens people to people to their to live their greatest life with freedom. Their greatest. Okay, okay. I am the thunderous leader that awakens people to their the freedom in their life. How about that? How does that resonate? I, I, I get free, uh, freedom, love, and abundance are, are, the are important. Words, I think, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're gonna get rid of the thunder then. Uh, yeah. I, I, freedom, I love, and abundance. I don't have the okay. Answers. Okay. We'll put them up here because that's I didn't have those. Freedom, love, abundance. Yeah. Okay. I am. Do you still want thunderous? Uh, I'm not uh, attached to thunderous. Okay. Another metaphor that represents freedom. Uh, what was that? Love and abundance. I like thunderous though. It's kind of good. It could be. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. It could be beacon. It could be thunder. Could okay. Be... I am the beacon in the storm that guides others. People to freedom, love, and abundance. Others to yeah, freedom, love, and abundance. Again, guys, this, even if it takes you a month, a year, a decade, I don't care. This is important. I am the beacon. So a beacon, do you want to be the lighthouse? Do you want to be, do you want to be the sun? Do you want to be the stars? Do you want to be the thunderous? What is it about the thunderous? Uh, it, it, it's the, it's the, the power. It's, the, it's like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you see, that's important to him. So for, so for now, he's the thunderous beacon. Okay? We can figure out later what the thunderous beacon looks like. I am the thunderous beacon in the storm that guides others to freedom, love, and abundance. Yeah, baby. Yeah! Put it here. How's that for him? Give, give George a hand. Woo! All right, let's hear a couple of other life purpose statements. Can we go around with the, the mic? Thanks, George. You were awesome. Again, it's not fully done, but I'd say he's 80% there. You guys, you guys agree? It kind of fits him? It's not an exact science. If those of you are hoping to look like cookie cut, this is, this is art. Let's work with a couple. Maybe I need a couple of minutes. to. You got one? Go ahead. I am the brilliant guiding light that leads people away from society's dictates and towards their true soul's urgings. Okay. I like it, but I would get away from the negative stuff. Of society's dictates? Yeah. I would say maybe break the mold or, or wake them up. Right? You, you want to keep it positive the whole way through. You want to just, just maybe clean it up, shorten it a little bit. and Because, I mean, we know all that stuff already. We don't need to talk about it in our life purpose. Right? It's like the impact you want to have on them is, is to awake. Read it to me again. The way I've written it? Yeah. We'll fix okay. it. I am the brilliant guiding light that leads people away from society's dictates and towards their true soul's urgings. I like the true soul's ur urgings. I, I, the, the light is a little weak. We need something that's more metaphorical than, than a light. What creates light? Is it, is it a, a lighthouse? Is it the sun? Is it the sun's rays? Is it a powerful lightning bolt? So, so let's find a metaphor around. I'll leave that for you for a second. I want to hear another one. <laughs> I am the I always say, I am the shining light that encourages and, and directs people to um, reach their potential. Okay, shining light that, that directs people to reach their potential. Again, similar to hers, shining light. I, is it a locomotive with a shining light? Is it is it? It's it's got to be a powerful because just a shining light. A ray of sunshine. Yes, ray of sunshine is good. And what's the last piece you said? Uh, th that. Okay, that directs and encourages people to reach their potential. How about guides? That guides guides yeah. them, or, or encourages them, or 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 you know. What like you know one of your visualizations? I was actually a negative for me. Like I, I thought of a time I took a course and I didn't get any feedback, and I realized how bad it feels when you when you pay money and you don't have any uh, direction or encouragement. So like uh, that's. But so you want to give encouragement to others. Right, and like I do... I so do. maybe you're the warm and encouraging light that does something to people. It's just the last part seemed a little... On the bonfire? 
<laughs> bonfire, okay, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good. We're on the right track. Get it a bit, get juicy language. If, if I can leave you with one word, you okay. need juicy language for this, or else okay. it's just going to be blah, right? You want to do yours? Yeah, tell us yours. I am the cheetah that inspires people to run faster than they ever thought possible. Oh, okay. okay, I am the cheetah that inspires people to run faster than they ever thought possible. Let's give a couple of adjectives to the cheetah. It, a powerful, sinewy, stealthy, stealthy a focused cheetah, yeah. Okay, put a couple of ad adjectives that make it even more powerful than the animal. Remember, mine was the courageous lion. Okay, go ahead. What's yours? Um, I am the soaring eagle that inspires people to courageously live a life with authenticity and passion. I like it. Can we say it again? Okay. I am the I, loud? Well, I might change soaring to something else. I like I, soaring. Okay. I am the soaring eagle that inspires people to courageously live a life with authenticity and passion. So the soaring eagle that inspires people to live a life of authenticity and passion. Give her a hand. That's awesome. One more. Because I got to, someone's going to kick me off the stage any second. I can feel it. I can feel the hook coming. I know it. It's there. <laughs> oh, we're good. One more. Yeah. Um, I am the mother whisperer, and my breeze touches people with love to follow their heart's desires. I am the mother's whisperer that guides people to their heart's desires. Something along those lines? And my breeze touches people with love to follow their heart's desire. I like that. It's very gentle, very nice. Give her a hand. Okay, so moving forward from here, guys, you got to keep updating your life purpose. If you came here tonight and you did this work and you just put this away in a drawer somewhere, you missed the point. Keep it out for a couple of weeks and play with it. Put some pictures. If you don't have a vision board, you need to get one. Live it will help you do that. Um, get a vision board. You don't know where you're going if you can't see it every day. Seriously, it's, it's a waste of time. Put pictures that represent it, your life purpose, on your vision board. I've got a big lion on there, and I've got people's most brilliant selves exploding out of a box, right? Never accept anything, work, people, or activity that is not in line with your life purpose. Reject it summarily from now on in and say, I'm worth more than this. I deserve it. My life purpose is better and bigger than this. I can say no to stuff in my life. Today, I begin to choose. You like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah baby. All right, summary. Your values are critical. They guide your thoughts and your actions. We are more driven by family connection than money or any adulation possible. Your life purpose is at the intersection of your potential, your profit, and your purpose. Your life purpose guides all the choices and gives meaning to your life. All right? Um, so if you have any questions, I've got 2.7 seconds to answer them. Um, actually, we can go over a couple of minutes, Steve. Eh? No? Oh, okay, we're good. We can have some questions now. Um, okay, so who has some questions now for me at this point? I know we've covered a lot of stuff. Hopefully you've gotten some value out of this tonight. How many of you think that this, this life purpose statement makes sense for you at least? It's a start. All right, quite a few of you. Good. Okay, any questions at this point? I, I either I was clear as mud or you guys are just like your brain has melted, which I understand is possible when doing this exercise. It, it can be heavy. No questions? You have a question? Do it. Basically, like, I think from what a lot of people said here, a lot of people would enjoy doing what you're doing. And I think basically that's, that's a quality in every single one of us that we want to give back. We want to either wake people up or we either want to show people, shed light on people's goals or we either want to show people they're faster than a cheetah. Yeah. Um, we all want to make a difference and contribute to other people's lives and make a difference. We saw that in the audience here tonight and you guys are are awesome for that because you obviously take your life seriously and it's worth it for you to come out on a night like tonight and say, I, my purpose, my destiny is more important than having a little fun. Sometimes I find in this world today, people don't know how to sacrifice anything anymore for future gain. It's all about now, me, fast food, fast everything. But I'm sorry, sometimes you need to do a little bit of work to get a better life and that's what this is all about. Any other questions? That's it. So I just wanted to thank you for... Uh, oh, you're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Anybody else? Okay, so um, I've got, I've got uh, tonight a special three-month coaching package if anybody wants to look at it. Normally, it's uh, $1,290. Tonight, it is only um, $350 tax included. That's three months of coaching with me on the phone every, every week. So if you guys want to do that, sign up for my newsletter. You've got a feedback form at the end of your sheet. I need to make my seminars be even better, so I need your feedback on the last sheet. So Pull out the last sheet. It's made for that. Uh, I have men's circles that I run, women's circles. You can check off on the sheet if you want to be involved in those. Um, 
I think this is probably the next best step for most of you. Live it will take you through what we did tonight, and it'll get you to the next level, and it'll get rid of those little voices in your head that say you can't do it, and it's not all about you. I was actually nominated for one of the top five indie books uh, from last year, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, 20 bucks only tonight, normally 26, no tax. Oh, sorry, CRA, I didn't say that. Um, and last but not least, if any of you guys are interested, you said you're interested in doing what I do, I actually lead a team, and I'm growing a team here in Toronto of people who make a difference, make money, have a lot of fun, and actually change people's lives. So if you're interested in doing that, let me know you're interested, and uh, thank you for your support tonight. I really appreciate it. <laughs> On schedule, 9.30. So please fill in the, uh, the feedback forms.